Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we will be discussing about the most um, discussed and hot topic about CPT visa and OPT visa. This is one of the topic we are always uh, interested because we really want to find out whether an OPT student or a CPT student is more relevant for a particular job requirement. So let's begin. So the first point here is the sole purpose. What is the sole purpose of CPT and OPT? So CPT allows a F1 visa holder student to work in an organization in their relevant college course to get practical experience before graduation. But for OPT, it allows the student to gain practical experience in the organization in the same field, in the same area after completing the graduation. So the array of choice is much wider for OPT as compared to a CPT. So the second point is basic requirement. So why uh, someone should attain a CPT and why someone should you know, need an OPT? Working on OPT is a must because it is a part of a degree requirement. They have to work, they have to gain the experience, they have to gain the practical experience. They are then going to get the grade that will help them to complete that degree. Wherein for OPT, it's not a degree requirement, it's more of a choice. If you have completed your graduation and you don't want to apply for OPT, or if you have applied for OPT but you don't want to work, you always have a choice to go back to your country because you have completed your graduation. You have completed the sole purpose of your education. But for CPT, they have to be in a CPT in order to complete that degree. I hope you're understanding the difference. Let's go to the next point, the training period. So the tra training period is when the student is basically enrolled and before the graduation, that's the time when you are going to request for CPT. So that's the period when you are going to request for a C training in a company. And it doesn't matter whether the training is a paid training or an unpaid training, whether the employer is going to pay you, or whether the employer says, come and just get the internship, get the hands-on, get the practical training, I'm not going to pay you. So it doesn't matter. What matters is the student after the enrollment can apply for CPT, but it has to be before the graduation. Wherein on OPT, an OPT can be applied, but only after graduation is completed. So that's the difference between CPT and OPT. And who approve this training period? So who is the approver? So for a CPT, an approval is needed from ISS, which is the International Student and Scholar, which is basically from the academic department, University College, HOD, the head of the department. And for OPT, an approval is required from USCIS, United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, which is nothing but a government agency. So an OPT is granted, is approved by USCIS, wherein a CPT is approved by the college HOD, who is an ISS. Mode of application. So when you want to apply for a CPT, there's an online application and the process is not very tedious and not very lengthy. But for OPT, there's a bunch of paper forms that you have to complete in order to request for an OPT approval. And the OPT forms and the process and the approval is a very time consuming mode. Now waiting on approval. So the approval time for CPT is really quick. If some candidate says, hey, I'm waiting on my CPT approval, do not, you know, just let go that candidate. He is telling right because if he has submitted, he is going to get approved in five to seven days. So the approval time 
for getting a CPT is much quicker than OPT. The approval time here for OPT is approximately up to three months or more. So if somebody applies for OPT and waiting for an OPT card, it may take three months, you know. So you may just want to keep this candidate in your pipeline for your future requirement. But for CPT, if he says it is submitted and he has the proof, an email proof, then yes, you may want to wait for the CPT candidate because his approval will come real quick. About the employment duration, a CPT duration can go up to a total of 12 months. It depends on the CPT student how he wants to process. Like he wants to ask for a four months um, approval, then go back and study and then again ask for a four months. This time he doesn't want to wait. He just want to continue the next four months. So he can actually ask for approval. So it can go only up to a total of 12 months. After that, he cannot on CPT. But for OPT, the duration initially approved is 12 months, which, which can be extended up to 12 months. So that's the advantage of OPT. How about the employer choices? For a CPT student, they can work for employers who feature in the I-20 approved list and the savings list. So CPT is kind of restricted. They don't have much choice. Where an OPT students has a wide variety, they can work with any employer, any company, any organization across the US. Coming back to EAD card, so CPT students generally don't get EAD card from USCIS. Instead, they get CPT recommendation letter. That is, they will be issued a new I-20 form with CPT recommendation. Where in OPT, a student working on OPT will get EAD card from USCIS once it has been approved. Next, full-time, part-time, a difference. The CPT student can either work part-time or full-time. So when they are studying during school time, they can only work 20 hours a week. But if it's summer break, they can go for 20 hours a week. For OPT, they can work full-time. It's their choice after graduation. So they can work part-time or full-time, you know, after graduation. So there is no such restriction for OPT student. How about the application fee? CPT uh, doesn't require any fees in order to apply for CPT training approval. But for OPT, they need to pay a fee of approximately $410 to USCIS along with their application request form. So that's the major difference which I tried to capture about OPT CPT. I hope uh, that was useful to you guys. If you need this document, I have saved this document as a PDF document and I will be more than happy to share this document with you so that you can actually study it much better to understand the basic difference between CPT and OPT. It will also be helpful for you if you are trying to apply for you know recruitment or bench sale job uh, during the interview this is also one of the most favorite question asked by the uh, hiring manager so if you want this please comment below and i'll be more than happy to share this document with you and i hope this video helped you in some way thank you for watching and i'll catch you soon again in my next video tutorial thank you take care